Google just dropped their biggest AI update ever. Gemini 3 Pro is here, and it's insane. You can now make text, images, and videos in one place. No more jumping between five different tools. I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. This is going to change everything. All right, let's talk about Gemini 3 Pro. This is Google's newest AI model, and it just came out. It's their smartest model ever. And here's what makes it different. Most AI tools do one thing. ChatGPT does text. Midjourney does images, Runway does video, but Gemini 3 Pro connects everything. You can plan your content, make images, and create videos all in one workflow. That's huge. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this step by step. No fluff, no complicated stuff, just the real workflow that actually works. So here's what we're covering today. First, what is Gemini 3 Pro and why should you care? Second, how to use it in the Gemini app for beginners. Third, I'm going to show you Nano Banana Pro, which makes incredible images. Fourth, VO 3.1, which turns those images into actual videos. And fifth, the big one, build mode in Google AI Studio, where you can build entire apps with zero code. This is the part that's going to blow your mind. Let me start with what Gemini 3 Pro actually is. Google calls it their most intelligent model. It beats their old model Gemini 2.5 Pro on all the major tests. It's designed to handle PhD level reasoning. That means it can solve really hard problems that other AI models struggle with. And it has something called deep think mode coming soon, which makes it even smarter for complex tasks. But here's what matters for you. Gemini 3 Pro understands everything. Text, images, code, documents, audio, video, all of it. You can throw a huge code base at it or a long document and it just gets it. This is what they call multimodal. It means one AI brain that handles all types of content instead of needing different tools for different jobs. And here's the other big thing. It's built for agentic workflows. That's a fancy way of saying it can plan things, call tools, write code, and fix code all on its own. You tell it what you want and it figures out the steps. This is huge for building apps and automating work. So where do you actually use this thing? There are three main places. First, the Gemini app on the web or your phone. This is the easiest way for beginners. You just chat with it like ChatGPT. Second, AI mode in Google search. If you're a subscriber, you can route harder questions to Gemini 3 automatically. Third, Google AI Studio. This is where the magic happens for building apps. And we're going to spend a lot of time here later. So let me tell you about something that's gonna save you so much time. If you wanna learn how to actually use AI tools like Gemini 3 Pro to automate your business and save hours every single day, you need to check out AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you the exact workflows to use AI for content creation, SEO, video production, and way more. We show you how to build systems that actually work so you're not wasting time figuring this stuff out yourself. The link is in the description. Trust me, if you're serious about using AI the right way, this is where you need to be. Okay, back to the good stuff. Now let's talk about pricing because I know you're wondering. For regular people who just wanna use Gemini, there are different plans. The AI Pro plan is about $20 a month. This gets you access to Gemini 3 Pro with higher limits. Then there's the Ultra plan, which is around $125 a month. That's the top tier with the most features. Free users can still use Gemini 3, but you get limited usage and it switches to smaller models when you hit the limit. For developers and power users who want to use the API, it's different. You pay per token, which is basically per word. Under 200,000 tokens, it costs about $2 per million input tokens and $12 per million output tokens. If you go over 200,000 tokens, the price goes up to $4 input and $18 output. I'll put a chart on screen so you can see the breakdown clearly. Okay, now here comes the really cool part. Let me introduce you to Nano Banana Pro. Yes, that's actually what Google named it. Nano Banana Pro is Gemini 3 Pro's image engine. It's a state-of-the-art image generation model built on top of Gemini 3 Pro, and it's designed specifically for real work, not just art. Here's what makes it different from tools like Midjourney or DALI. Nano Banana Pro uses reasoning and world knowledge to make accurate images. So if you ask it to make an educational diagram or an infographic, it actually understands the topic and creates something correct. It's not just making random pretty pictures. This is perfect for making photo, real images, infographics, diagrams, UI mockups, and visuals for presentations or ads. You can use Nano Banana Pro in a few places. First, in the Gemini app, you just choose create images with the thinking model. 
My right, second is built into Google Workspace now. So in Google Slides, Google Vids, Notebook LM, and Google Ads, you can generate images with Nano Banana Pro. Third, in Google AI Studio and Vertex AI for developers, here's something important about watermarks. If you're using the free or pro tier, your images will have a visible Gemini Sparkle watermark plus an invisible Synth ID signature. But if you're an ultra subscriber or using Google AI Studio developer tools, you can get images without the visible watermark. They still have the invisible Synth ID tag, but no sparkle. This is huge if you're making content for clients or professional work. Now let's talk about Veo 3.1. This is Google's video generation model. It makes high quality 1080p videos with really good motion and creative control. Veo 3.1 can do text to video where you just describe what you want. But the real magic is image to video. You give it a single image or two images for start and end frames, and it animates them into smooth video. It handles cinematic camera motion, realistic lighting, and it can even add audio if you want. And this is perfect for storyboarding, product videos, concept animations, and social media clips. Now I'm gonna show you the part that's gonna change everything, the build mode in Google AI Studio. This is insane. Build mode is the fastest way to go from an idea to a working app. You just describe what you want in normal English and build mode does everything. It picks the right models like Gemini 3 Pro or Nano Banana Pro. It generates the code, the project structure, and the user interface. And you see a live preview on the right side of your screen as it builds, it even has something called AI chips. These let you add features like image generation or Google Maps just by describing what you want. And if you're stuck and don't know what to build, there's a button that says, I'm feeling lucky. You click it and it gives you a complete app idea and builds it for you. This is wild. Let me break down how the code works so you understand what's happening. When you build something in build mode, it creates a file called Gemini service.ts. This is the main logic file. It handles all your prompts, calls the Gemini API, passes the responses, and routes everything to the right models. It uses the Gen AI TypeScript SDK to talk to Gemini 3 Pro and the other models. You don't need to understand coding to use this, but it's good to know what's going on under the hood. The cool part is how you can change things. You use the chat panel in build mode to ask for updates. You can say add a button that generates three new thumbnail ideas or change the color scheme to dark mode with neon accents or integrate Nano Banana Pro to generate images from the script. Gemini 3 Pro understands what you want and updates the code live. You can also open the code tab and manually edit things if you want more control. Then you can save everything to GitHub. Now let me show you a real workflow that connects everything together. I'm gonna to walk through how to use Gemini 3 Pro Nano Banana Pro and Veo 3.1 to build a complete YouTube content pipeline. This is the kind of workflow that would normally take hours with multiple tools, but we're going to do it all in one place. Step one, use Gemini 3 Pro to plan and script your video. Go to the Gemini app or AI mode, give it a prompt like this. You are a YouTube strategist. Plan a 10 minute video called whatever your topic is. Include a hook, chapters, B-roll ideas, and CTAs for beginners. Then refine it by saying, write a conversational script in my voice and describe your style. Fast paced, no fluff, whatever fits you. Gemini 3 Pro is really strong at complex planning and long context, so it can handle long scripts and multiple revisions way better than older models. Step two, generate your visual assets with Nano Banana Pro. Go to the Gemini app and choose create images or use Google Slides or AI Studio. Start with thumbnails, say create a clean YouTube thumbnail concept for a video titled whatever your title is, modern dark UI Gemini colors, big text, no faces, then make infographics. Say design a simple infographic explaining the difference between Gemini 3 Pro, Nano Banana Pro, and Veo 3.1 for beginners. Then create storyboard frames, generate a sequence of images showing each chapter of your video. If you're using the developer environment in AI Studio, you can use the Gemini Image API to generate these assets programmatically, which is even faster. Step three, turn your images into motion with Veo 3.1. Use a Veo 3.1 powered tool. Upload one of your Nano Banana Pro images. Give it a prompt to like animate this as a slow zoom in with a floating UI HUD and subtle parallax. Eight seconds, 16 by nine, YouTube intro background. For transitions between scenes, give it two frames, one for the start and one for the end, and let VO 3.1 create a smooth motion between them. Choose video plus audio if you want background sound or just video only if you don't need it. This is how you go from static images 
to cinematic motion. Now here's where it gets really powerful. Step four, build a content machine app in build mode. This is the hero move. Go to Google AI Studio and click build mode. Start with a prompt like this. Build a simple web app called Gemini Content Machine that helps YouTube creators generate a video outline and script using Gemini 3 Pro, generate thumbnail prompts and images using Nano Banana Pro, and then export a shot list to feed into a VO 3.1 workflow. The UI should have three tabs called Plan, Visuals, and Export. Use a clean, dark theme. Watch what happens. Build mode starts creating your app in real time. You can add AI chips in the prompt or through the interface. Tell it to use Gemini 3 Pro for text and reasoning, Nano Banana Pro for image generation, and optionally add live search for research. Click build or run and you'll see the app preview appear on the right side of your screen. Open GeminiService.ts and you can actually see how it's calling Gemini 3 Pro and Nano Banana Pro through the SDA. Now you can iterate using the chat. Say, make the plan tab, allow the user to choose video length, like short five minutes or 10 minutes and adjust the script detail accordingly or add a button in the visuals tab that generates three thumbnail ideas plus three B-roll image prompts, or add a drop down to export a CSV shot list. Gemini 3 Pro updates the code every time you ask. This is what they call vibe coding. You vibe out what you want and the AI builds it. When you're done, you can deploy or export the code to GitHub and then integrate it with whatever VO 3.1 interface you're using. This is a complete content creation pipeline built in under 30 minutes with zero coding knowledge required. That's the power of build mode. Let me give you some advanced tips real quick. Gemini 3 Pro in AI Studio can do what's called agentic coding. This means it can plan multi-file changes, write code, refactor code, and respond to your feedback across multiple sessions. You can build landing pages, interactive dashboards, even simple games. The key is to describe what you want clearly and let it figure out the steps. You can also ask it to add features like a generate with VO 3.1 button that creates a structured prompt from your shot list. Even if you can't call VO's API directly, you can generate the text prompt and paste it into a VO interface. Here's some best practices you need to know. First, safety and compliance. Google has built in safety filters and all Nano Banana Pro images get watermarked with Synth ID. Always use AI responsibly, avoid harmful content and disallowed topics, and always disclose to your audience when content is AI generated. That's just being honest. Second, performance tips. Use Gemini 3 Pro for heavy reasoning, planning, and long context tasks. Use faster models for quick questions or drafts. When generating images, do batches instead of single prompts. It's way more efficient. For VO 3.1 test short clips first, like three to five seconds before you pay for longer sequences, this saves you money while you're learning. Third, versioning and scaling. Save your build mode projects to GitHub for version control. When you outgrow the playground and need production level apps, move to Vertex AI or direct API integration. This gives you more control and better performance for real business use. Let me give you the comparison with old workflows. The old way was using ChatGPT for planning, then Midjourney for images, then Runway or Pika for video. That's three different subscriptions, three different interfaces, three different sets of prompts, and you're copying and pasting between them constantly. The new way is Gemini 3 Pro for planning, Nano Banana Pro for images, VO 3.1 for video, all wired together in build mode. One workflow, one ecosystem, way less friction. Here's what you should do next. First, go try building one small app in build mode today. Start with something simple like a script generator or a thumbnail idea tool where just get your hands dirty and see how it works. Second, experiment with Nano Banana Pro to create some visual assets. Make a few thumbnails, some diagrams, some storyboard frames, see what the quality is like. Third, if you have access to VO 3.1, test it with image to video. Take one of your Nano Banana Pro images and animate it. See how the motion looks. The key is to actually use these tools, not just watch videos about them. That's how you learn what works and what doesn't. And comment below and tell me what you want to see automated next. Do you want a tutorial on building a specific type of app? Do you want to see more VO 3.1 workflows? Let me know because I read every comment and I make videos based on what you actually want to learn. If you want to go deeper, join AI Profit Boardroom. We teach you the exact systems to use AI for SEO, content creation, automation, and growing your business. We don't just show you tools. We show you how to build profitable systems with them. The link is in the description. This is where the real learning happens. All right, that's everything you need to know about Gemini 3 Pro, Nano Banana Pro, VO 3.1, and build mode. Google just gave you the full AI stack for text, 
images and video in one place. This is the future of content creation. And if you start learning this now, you're going to be way ahead of everyone else. So go build something, experiment, and I'll see you in the next video.